Hello everyone, it is our reversal, welcome back to another episode of Knights and Dragons and I feel it's about time that we take a closer look at the War of Bones being at around the corner with less than 24 hours before it starts I believe you guys are actually quite interested to know how good this armor is, how well it manages and how well it compares to other fire and spirit element armor so we're gonna be taking a look at the Bone Star characters much in depth but first things first, the rewards so we're gonna take a look here, rank 1 of course the plus first Version of the Bone Star Carapace is up for grabs. An amazing armor, yes indeed. Rank 2 to rank 10 will be getting the regular version of the Bone Star Carapace. Rank 11 to rank 25 will be getting the Soul Vanguard, which in my opinion is quite disappointing because I don't really see a whole lot of guilds going for this epic because it's just a solo type element. It's not all that interesting so I don't really expect to see a whole lot of fireworks from rank 25 on forward. So yeah, that's kind of like a disappointing thing. Rank 26 to rank 50 was Carapus Plus and then of course 51 to 100 also was Carapus Plus and then of course the regular version of the was Carapus Plus is up for grabs all the way up to rank 500 so that's something what we're going to be going for. So this guild war might be exciting but might not be exciting. I'm not entirely sure what I should expect from this. All I know is that this armor is really crazy strong and later in this episode I'll tell you guys why that is but I feel right now the way I see it right now rank 10 or the top 10 is going to be quite exciting for this guild war although that being said I'm not entirely sure if I'll make recaps episode of this guild war or just the result episode I'm not entirely sure because I have a couple of things to do this weekend so I am not really sure if I got the time to go around making these episodes but you guys will see them appearing eventually if I'll make them regardless so yeah Okay, that being said, it is time to compare how the Bonesaw Carapace is matching up against other armors that are already available in the game. So, we are going to take a look at the best armors in the game, which right now is the armor of the Peacock and the Undead Robes. And then, of course, we are going to be comparing the Bonesaw Carapace against other Fire and Spirit type armors. So, let's start off with the beginning. The plus version of the Bonesaw Carapace is definitely an amazing armor to have. I mean, if you take a look at the difference between attack and defense we're almost talking about over 500 well not almost but already over 500 total combined stats uh, even over 600 total combined stats and almost over 650 uh, stats we're talking about in difference of attack and defense so it must be a really great armor and it is it really is quite magnificent if we take a look at the um, at the best defensive armor in the game we're talking about the arm of the peacock, which has a, a defensive stat of 2425. So you see the difference? The difference here is 140 defensive stats. This automatically means that the Bonesaw Carapace Plus is ultimately the best defensive one in the game, which is really, really crazy by quite a margin. I mean, the arm of the peacock was already really strong, but the Bonesaw Carapace, that's like... The best offensive wall you can possibly imagine. And it's a dual element as well. So that makes it really great. Of really good elements. So um, all I can say is. This is going to be quite exciting for a lot of the guilds out there. And that is also going to be the reason why I feel. That top 10 might be fireworks. Believe it or not. But yeah. Let's actually take a look here. So. But is it also the best total combined stats armor in the game? And the answer to that is yes. The Undead Robes comes in a total combined stats of 4472. Where the Bonesaw Carapace has a total combined stats of 4483. Defeating the old record by 11 total combined stats. That's not a whole lot. But it still can carry the name as the best armor in the game. And I'm pretty sure that right now the Bonesaw Carapace Plus. Will be the best defensive armor in the the game for quite a while to come as you know we don't really see such a huge margin in total combined in, in attack and defense uh, in knights and dragons usually it's very close together or the difference in like attack and defense is like 200 but in this case the difference is over 600 so that's absolutely crazy but you guys are probably more curious to know like how well does the regular version of this armor manages towards other armors well i can tell you this much and this is the only information I'll give you guys about the Bonesaw Carapace, the regular version. To give you guys an idea about how good this armor is, if we just take this armor and compare it with other armors that are in the game, including all of the Epic Plus armors, it still is the 7th best defensive armor in the game. 
And that tells me a lot because it even beats most of the plus versions in the game, which is really absolutely crazy. So yes, it is definitely going to be a really great armor to be having in your lineup. And I would really recommend if you got the money, if you got the time and you got the gems to do this, then by all means join the top 10 guild and go for this armor and i know that a lot of people are going to be using this one in their lineup for a long time to come so that is really how well this armor manages towards other armors it's a great armor to have and other than that have you seen how this armor looks i haven't even gone over the looks yet and it's already a great armor to have but look at this this armor is so cool looking i really like the way this one looks it's so brutal so berserky, so really cool looking. I, you know, you guys can judge for yourself, but this armor is really monstrously looking cool. And um, I wish I could get my hands on this one because this is a this is a beast. This is like the ultimate beast right now. Defensive beast. It looks like an offensive armor. I think you guys can agree on that. But other than that, it really looks fantastic. So yeah, let's actually go ahead and compare this armor with other armors of the same type element. Fire spirit type element, epic armors. Uh, the armors available with the same element are the Forge Stone Aegis, as we all know. The Hellfire Plate, which uh, unfortunately is not a fusible epic. And then the Dragonborn Aegis, which is right now the most recent fusible epic. And I actually intend to compare the Bonesaw Carapace, the regular version, and the plus version with the uh, Bonesaw Carapace. So the initial question is going to be, is the regular version of the Bonesaw Carapace going to be replacing the regular version of the Dragonborn Aegis? And let's just bring up the stats so that way you guys can see it for yourself. As you guys can see, the Bonesaw Carapace has an attack of 1726, where the Dragonborn Aegis has an attack of 1752. The difference here is only 26 attack in the advantage of the Dragonborn Aegis. However, if you take a look at the defense, you see that that the defense of the Dragonborn Aegis is only 1992, where the Bonesaw Carapace is over 2200 and 2260 in total. So the difference here is 268 defense in um, advantage for the Bonesaw Carapace. So that's actually really major. So the answer to the question is, in my case, I believe yes. I mean, that 26 attack, it doesn't do a whole lot. And the Bonesaw Carapace is just such a beast that you just don't want to pass it by already for the defense alone i mean we're talking about the seventh best defensive armor in the game which is really crazy now for the plus version somewhat of a different story because the plus version always says this weird jump which i never really seem to understand but if we compare the two together we see that the bonesaw carapace says 1918 attack where the dragonborn aegis says 2036 attack so the difference here is over 100 stats in terms of defense, of course, we're talking about 2565 for the Bonesaw Carapus Plus. And for the Dragonborn Aegis Plus, we're talking about 2181. So the difference here is almost 400 total combined defense, or I mean just defense. So is it going to be replacing the Dragonborn Aegis Plus? And the answer to that question is obviously going to be a big yes. Because, well, first of all, Bonesaw Carapace, that armor just looks really insanely good. Better than the Dragonborn Aegis, in my opinion. For the second reason, you got the defense to consider. You cannot go wrong with the best defensive armor in the game. And other than that, you will probably replace the Dragonborn Aegis Plus sooner than the Bonesaw Carapace Plus. So... Yeah, that is just everything from my side. That is basically what I wanted to tell you guys about the War of Bones, about the Bonesaw Carapace, and of course the comparison that we have been doing. So it's about time that we're going to be wrapping everything up here. So for now, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comment section below if you like the format of me comparing things the way I'm doing it right now. And for now, just want to thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, make sure that if you guys like this video too, boom, give it a thumbs up. This is our reverse of Knights and Dragons. I'm going to be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I'm also available on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and other social media links. Links in the video description and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for your daily doses of reversalness. Is that even a word?